Falk's V skill 2 is Psycho Mine. It places a mine in the air, which Falk can detonate with her attacks. Just hitting the two buttons gives you a high mine that slowly moves forward. Doing it while holding any down direction puts down a low mine. And doing it while holding any back direction puts down a stationary mine. So basically, there's four different mines based on whether you're holding down, back, neither, or both. The mine has no hitbox in and of itself. You can only have one on the screen at a time. It will eventually detonate on its own. But it takes a while. If Falk hits the mine with any move that glows purple, it detonates. Stand strong, crouch fierce, and towards fierce. Detonate the high mine, but not the low mine. Stand jab, crouch jab, and crouch strong. Detonate the low one, but not the high one. Stand fierce will detonate either height. Though interestingly, cancelling Stain Fierce will prevent it from hitting low mines. As for special moves, low gunshot detonates the low mine only, while Schneider or the other two gunshots detonate either height. If Fault gets hit in any way, the mine disappears instantly. Setting up the mine isn't that hard in neutral. It takes 52 total frames to set up. Especially good is her stand forward TC, which sets up a meaty mine and is plus 9 even if the opponent quick stands. This is her only way of cancelling into the mine. Once the mine is in the opponent's hitbox, some interesting things happen. For one, most of your errant hits get a little more damage and a knockdown. Depending on what detonates the mine, you might get some new conversions. Once the mine explodes, you can juggle into Towards Fierce, Schneider, Gunshots, Catapult, or most trigger actions. Not detonating the mine immediately can be very good. Compare these two combos. Here's some other stuff. On block, the mine adds a ton of blocks done. Most of Fox moves are plus 20 on block or more after detonating mine. Psycho Schneider is still unsafe. Even simply using the mine's natural detonate can give you some interesting stuff. It doesn't seem super practical, but air throw actually combos into mine explosion, and then you can juggle out of that. This V-Skill only builds V-Meter if the mine hits or is blocked. VS2 is incredibly setup based and open-ended. Losing VS1 hurts both of Falk's triggers, since in VT1 you can do Reflect into Gunshots, and in VT2 you can do Reflect into Special Moves. But I'd say that VS2 is much more useful and interesting in neutral, particularly in matchups where the opponent has no fireballs. Gunshot into forward dash being plus 3 is a pretty good deal, if nothing else. I'm excited to see what people find for this.